I Who are you? Beer Drink Shawty here. I'm sure y'all already heard that Enzo Amore has been cut or fired from his WWE contract. And I don't believe those rape accusations like at all. The bitch in the video definitely has a lot of indiscrepancies in her story. You know what? Fuck that. I'm not going to sit here and do exactly what everybody else does is pretty much report the same thing. The small smidgen amount of actual fact and news in the interview of her and just pretty much reiterate the same thing over and over again. However, I'm going to say that if this indeed happened to the girl, uh, Enzo definitely does deserve to uh, have his job ripped and truthfully he, he deserves uh, uh, jail time, nigga. However, if he did not commit this fucking heinous act of rape, this bitch needs to go underneath the jail or possibly the death penalty because I'm sick and tired of crazy bitches with, with somebody of high stature, somebody of celebrity, and just pretty much fucking them over just for the fact that they can. The one thing that I will say about Enzo Amore, he's a lot like Adrian Broner and it kind of got irritating. I always see him in social media. Last post I saw of Enzo Amore, he was Post Malone. It was with Post Malone alone and two other jerk jobs in the music industry nigga stick to wrestling as i've already said if i would compare enzo amore to any other sports athlete i would have to uh, compare him to adrian broner because he actually has the talent he talks really well on the mic definitely an entertaining individual however it seems that he's gonna let celebrity and trying to be bigger at something that he didn't come up on ruin his actual career one thing that i definitely hope is this bitch isn't lying for the fact that a lot of women are actually coming out in this whole me too you uh, movement if you watch the video posted on TMZ of the accuser a lot she just doesn't seem stable and doesn't seem like a reliable source of the truth in my humble opinion I'm thinking Enzo didn't do it however I am in no way in the know of that because I've never even hung with the nigger however her story had more detail than a Harry Potter movie to be totally honest the girl actually comes off as psychotic and a, a liar <laughs> Come on, man. Enzo, nigga. Yo, hey, man. I'm hoping Enzo did. I'm hoping Enzo isn't guilty of this. However, the only reason why... As far as, far as Enzo... Oh, my God. As far as... En oh, my as far as Enzo losing his job, the thing that everybody's all up in arms about is the fact that he lost his job. People are not understanding that if he actually did commit this fucking sickening act of rape, that whoop, not only are we missing a wrestler... From not only are we missing a wrestler from Raw in 205 Live, we're missing an individual from society because that nigga going to jail. Enzo and in my in my opinion, Enzo was in my opinion, Enzo was actually the best talker in the WWE currently, other than Bray Wyatt and of course Paul Lee. However, if he did this. Bye, nigga! <laughs> I really hope that Enzo's name will be cleared if he didn't do this, and I know that he will get his job back in the WWE. However, things won't be quite the same. Momentum is a bitch. I'm sure Corey Graves cummed in this little Calvin Klein boxer. If you haven't already seen the TMZ video of the accuser, here it is. I was still sitting on the couch, and he proceeded to literally just pick me up, flip me over, rip my tights off and like just completely started sexually insulting me he like came over and he was trying to come on to me and i was like like no i want to get to know you first like like i literally hadn't even had like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him and he was like girl are you kidding me like you should be begging for this dick i have a mi i have a million followers on instagram and as soon as he came back into the room he like picked me up flipped me over ripped my tights open and i was like whoa 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 like no and i said no i like countless times like i countless times I, I just kept saying like no but then at one point he literally like put me in like a i don't know what it's called but like he just wrapped my arms around me and like grabbed me from behind and bent me over and just started like go like going at it from the back and um he did that for a little bit but then uh he like brought me into the bedroom he carried me into the bedroom like i was saying no the whole time i was like please stop like i was crying i was like please stop like just please stop like i don't want to do this and he, uh as soon as we got to the bedroom he literally like chucked me onto the bed and I like smashed my it was like probably like right here 
on my head so hard that like I literally passed out and I like don't like I don't know how long I was passed out for but I definitely passed out because when I woke up I was like he was still having sex with me and like I my head hurt so bad and I was dazed and confused and I remember saying no again like just like get off of me get off of me like and at one point he did flip me over on my back and I was trying to kick him off and he like held my legs down and I know he used a condom because when I woke up in the morning like after all of it had what happened like there was a used condom on the floor like I, I don't remember when we stopped having sex all I know is I woke up the next morning and what was it like in the morning? Was he still there? What was this, the circumstances in the morning? He was still there. He was still asleep. And um, I grabbed my things. And as I was grabbing my things, he woke up. And I asked him, I was like, where's my dress? And he laughed at me and goes, ha, it's everywhere. Without a care in the world, I'm out. Fuck.